Hi guys, Mel here. I'm coming to you again uh, to germinate some seeds, but this time these are going to be some flowers that I will be planting in my garden outside once the temperatures allow them to survive. So we're starting out with uh, the wonderful uh, organic seed starting mix, but you can use anything um, that is very soft. Um, just so the seedlings uh, can germinate better. I just really, really like them. Um, the second thing that we're definitely going to need are some seeds. Um, I got some Cali Kim seeds quite a while ago. I'm hoping they will germinate, but these are not new seeds. So do not judge her based on my experiment. But these are the uh, Nurstrom's uh, Jewel mix, it looks like. And um, it says that, you know, these are supposed to be getting pretty tall. The second set of seeds are some beautiful, romantic, fragrant moon flowers. Um, they are white and they just have these huge, round, like oval shaped flowers. I mean, they're just fantastic. They're a vining um, flower as well, so keep that in mind that they bloom at night and I think that is just so magical and beautiful. I really hope it works out. I have a tree that I actually want to um, train it to grow around uh, to give me a little bit of you know, a little bit more depth in the garden. Um, and the final third of flower, as you can tell, I really like white flowers, are some heirloom butterfly zinnias polar bear. Don't have that much experience with these, n n not gonna lie. Zinnias, I'm not really sure. It says they're supposed to um, be used as annuals in summer and fall bloom. I'm not really sure. They're frost uh, tender, so w we shall see. So I'm gonna plant a few of these as well. Um, but let's go ahead and get started. This is a simple tray. Uh, you can use it like a, uh, I guess, a t like a carry out type tray but we purchased a lot of uh, like meal prepping type vessels. So that's what these are. Um, we just simply got them from Amazon. I can uh, link the distributor that I use below, but you can use whatever you like. My trusty dusty spoon, as well as this tarp. I couldn't remember last time, but I got it from RT1 and they are on Instagram. I will tag the company. They are fantastic. They have so many nifty things. Um, this uh, little thing here, it actually comes in like two sizes and this is the smallest one. I got it because we originally were in like a studio apartment, so I didn't have a lot of space. So I wanted to use that. I'm gonna use my hands because that's just how I roll. I'm gonna pat it down a little bit. And okay, so right now I'm gonna fill this up a little bit high because I was a naughty girl and I did not pre-soak my media. So I'm gonna fill it up a little bit higher than I typically would. And it's so soft and fluffy, guys. And it smells so earthy. I'm so excited. Like this is ridiculous. I've never grown up with like moon flowers before. And I kind of sort of heard that they are a little poisonous. Just make sure to keep your animals away from them. I'll do my best keeping mine away. So I'm just gonna pre so moist in this. And this is just distilled water in an amber shape vessel that's it or color Ooh. I'm soaking I'm soaking I'm soaking I'm soaking I think that's pretty good I also put holes at the bottom just with a knife let's mix it up and see what I did here oh it's so messy <laughs> this makes me very happy I'm gonna moisten it a little bit more I love playing in dirt. <laughs> I 
used to get in trouble when I was younger about playing in dirt. <laughs> Some things never change. Okay. So I pre-soaked, well, I moistened it. I didn't pre-soak anything. Okay. I'm going to wet it again. This is the same vessel I use for uh, this water vessel that I use um, to wet my succulents that I've been growing from seed. I know I'm crazy because I'm not the most patient person. Those things take forever to grow. It's very annoying. Okay. Now we're going to see how good Espoma really is because there's obviously going to be some significant dry pockets with this. This is why you pre-soak and moisten your media. And don't do it at the last minute like I'm doing now. But we're going to see how good this stuff really is. This is an experiment. Okay. So what I'm going to do is just kind of divide these up into three. Okay, kind of like that, little invisible lines. On this side, I'm gonna plant um, the nurseries, and then I'm gonna do the moonflowers, but moonflowers get kind of large. They're supposed to be 10 to 12 feet. So I'm thinking the seedlings grow kind of big. So maybe I want to put them on the edge. Yeah, I'm gonna do these first. Ooh, look at the seeds. That's crazy. Okay, that's exciting. So I'm just going to plop these in. I think I'm going to do about three. I'm going to do one yellow one and one green. I have a feeling these are probably going to grow. Um, they look kind of big. I'm just only going to do two because if they get between 10 and 12 feet, uh, yeah, I probably want to scooch it back a little bit and then just cover them. Okay. And then I'm going to do the nurseries. Oh, look, look at them. Oh my gosh, how exciting. So these look different. I'm going to put one here. I'm going to just do one here and one here. I'm not sure how big these are going to get. We'll see. Oh, hmm. maybe I can do one more. This is just seed starting, so we're just trying to germinate them. Yeah, just cover these, make them nice and pretty. Okay, and then last but certainly not least, my beautiful polar bear flowers, zinnias. Zinnias can be quite finicky, so we'll see how they act. Okay, so I'm just gonna sprinkle these around. Oh, I should probably use my left hand so you guys can see. I really like zinnias, so I'm gonna plant a couple more. But I'm the most excited about the moon flowers. I mean, imagine a flower that only blooms at night. Like, how romantic is that? Oh my gosh. It just reminds me of like an old English garden. I'm not sure where they come from, but anywho. So I'm going to just cover these with my dirty fingernails. I'm just going to lightly cover these things. And with the zinnias, I think what I'm going to do is just get a little bit more dirt and sprinkle it over. Like that. Go like that. And put this. Give a little spritzy spritz. Yeah. 
Now, I'm sure some of these seeds that were a little bit thicker, like the moonflower, I probably could have soaked that seed overnight. But this is an experiment. And if it does well, it does well. And if it doesn't, that is a lesson learned. Never be afraid to take chances. And don't forget to poke holes at the bottom. So when it's too much water, it all will drain out from the bottom. What I have decided to do is to increase the moisture is I'm going to partially cover this one. Um, so it's kind of being used as like its own little humidifier. And I'm going to like sit it in a tray so um, my counters don't get as dirty as these are. <laughs> so I will let you guys know how this turns out. I'll come back in about a week or so and I'll give you an update on my flowers. Bye.